Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure remote desktop and connect to a remote desktop computer from another computer. I will configure remote desktop on a Windows Server 2016 and connect to that Windows Server 2016 from a Windows 10 machine. I'm logged into a Windows Server, so I will right click on the start menu and then select system on the system window we will go to remote settings and then in the remote desktop area i will choose allow remote connections to this computer i can give permissions to different users for remote desktop connection by default the administrators group is automatically given permission for the remote desktop. So I should be able to connect to this server by using administrator account. So I'll press OK here and then apply and OK. Now we'll go to the Windows 10 computer and then run remote desktop application. Here I can use the IP address of the desktop computer to where I want to connect. If I want to use the name of the remote desktop computer, then I have to make sure the DNS server IP configuration of this machine uses the DNS server IP where the remote computer is located. In any case, I need to make sure that these two computers can communicate. So I will go to the command prompt and ping the other computer so ping 16.0.10 that is the ip address of the server to where i want to connect so i'm getting ping reply that means the connection was established i can check the ip configuration to see if the DNS server is configured. The DNS server is the same as the server to where I want to connect. So DNS is configured. I should be able to ping by name. So I'm getting reply. Everything looks okay. So I close this command prompt. Now I can either use the IP address or use the name of the computer to where I want to connect. I will use the IP address to connect to the other computer 172.16.0.10 and then connect. So I need to give the administrator username and password since the administrator group has permission to connect remotely. Now I can see that there is an error message due to the QuSSSP encryption oracle remediation. I can fix this error message. I will close this by pressing on OK. Next, I will open Group Policy Editor from the Start menu. And then under Computer Configuration on the left side, I will expand Administrative Templates and then System and then Credential Delegation. On the right side under credential delegation, there is an item called encryption oracle remediation. I will right click on that and select edit. Next, I will enable this encryption oracle remediation and for the protection label, I will choose vulnerable and then apply and OK. So I'll close this window and then try to connect again. It's 
giving me a warning. We will continue with yes. As you can see, the screen has changed and is showing the IP address of the remote computer to which I am now connected to. And this is the server where I'm connected. As you can see, this is LON DC1. So I have access to the desktop of the remote computer and I can use the local resources of this remote machine. I'm going to disconnect from the remote desktop by using the pause button. Message saying it will be disconnected. I press OK. I'm going to connect to that server once again, but with different options. So I'll go to the start menu and choose remote desktop. I'll go to the show options. And then on the display tab, I want to change the screen resolution. Let's say 800 by 600 pixel. Then from the local resources tab, in the local device and resources area, I will click on more. And then under drives, I will choose local disk C and then press OK. This will make the local disk C of this Windows 10 machine in the Windows Server remote desktop screen. So I'll click on OK. Then I will connect again. There is a warning message because I allowed local computer's C drive to be accessible on the remote computer. So I will continue with connect. Now it's asking the password. And again, another warning message. We'll continue with yes. And you can see I'm connected to the remote desktop, but with a different screen resolution. And I have the desktop screen. I can see the server manager. Next, I will open File Explorer on the remote desktop, which is on the server. Now you can see there is a new item, a network drive, C on desktop. Even though I am at the Windows Server machine connected remotely, I can still see the C drive of the local machine from where I connected to the server remotely. If I open file explorer of the local machine i should see the same content of the c drive here as you can see the same content and the c drive at the server is different content so I'll close this one when i'm done i will close by using the cross button and this will disconnect from the remote desktop Next, I'm going to configure the Windows 10 machine and allow remote desktop to this machine and I will connect from the server to the Windows 10 machine through remote desktop application. Okay, first I will right click on the start menu and then select system. And from the about screen, I will look for system info. Here it is. Then from the left side of the screen, I will select remote settings and from the system properties remote tab, I will look in the remote desktop area and then allow remote connection to this computer. It's giving me a warning message in this fine. I can also choose specific users and give permission for remote desktop connection. By default, the administrator group already has the permission. So we'll keep the default and press OK. And then apply and OK. 
Now I'll close this window and close this window too. Now I'll go to the server and then log in. First, I want to make sure that these two computers can communicate with each other. So I'll open common prompt and then ping the other machine. I believe it's 0 0.39. Let me double check. One seven two sixteen zero thirty nine. Next, I will check the firewall settings of Windows Ten machine. Turn firewall on and off. Turn off. Turn off. Now I will ping once again. I can see that these two machines can communicate with each other. So I'll close this window and now I will open remote desktop. I type in the IP address of Windows 10 machine. And then connect. It's asking the administrator account password. but it's taking error time administrator. So let me check more choices and use a different account. Let me check the computer name of Windows 10 machine. So this is the computer name. Go to the, the server and put computer name backslash administrator. This indicates the administrator account of Windows 10 machine and the password. the administrator account of Windows 10 machine is disabled and let me check another user this is a name is also in the administrator group now as you can see the computer name is already picked up so this user from this computer with the pa given password so press ok and it is warning for remote connection that's fine I will press on yes and then in this remote desktop screen I can see the Windows 10 machine from the server So I am on the LON DC1, which is a Windows server. I'm connected to 172.16.0.39. Okay, so after I finish working on the remote computer, I can disconnect by clicking on the cross window of the remote desktop connection screen. That will disconnect the remote desktop from the local machine. Uh, it's time to save the default RDP file so that in the next connection i don't need to type in the ip address or the computer name you can save uh, that's fine so i'll press ok and i'm back to the windows server 
All right, I hope you found this video was helpful. If you'd like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.